Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the DC Show. This is T. McNeil. Today is Monday. Let's talk some more Nike and Air Jordan news. So, guys, you can see the picture of the shoes for yourself. These shoes are actually the Air Jordan 3 dubbed the Pit Crew, and they were actually released, I think, back in 2011. So, they're not um, a brand new shoe, okay? But it's interesting because I've actually never seen these shoes before, and I think they were only. Um, released in limited quantities back in 2011 okay but i want to go over some information with you guys get your thoughts and opinions on it and uh we'll go from there all right so it does say that the jordan brand and the university of oregon released an exclusive ducks colorway of the air jordan 3 dubbed the pit crew which is the official name it's also a nod to the upwards of 1500 crazed fans in the student section of oregon's home games across all of Oregon's athletics. So that's an interesting statement, especially considering the fact that 1,500 students voiced their opinion to the Nike Corporation to create a shoe like this with their school colors in mind, all right? I'm not sure if they actually designed the shoes or not or had any type of say-so when it comes to the look and feel of the shoe, but again, 1,500 people voiced their opinions and the Nike Corporation obviously gave the fans what they wanted all right you can see the shoes for yourself but let's finish off the rest of the information now back in 2011 the air jordan 3 oregon ducks pit crew were given to the oregon students cheering section in the extremely limited quantities which basically answers the question about um the quantity aspect of this release shoe okay now again it was released back in 2011 um, I don't think it was released to the general public just to those students in that particular school, okay? But what do you guys think about it as far as the design aspect, um, material aspect, etc.? I like it a lot. You know, I'm not a big fan of yellow, but I think the way that it's designed and I think the overall look of the shoe really, really works and it, it pops, okay, guys? It's straight fire. And when it comes to having your voice heard, I would definitely voice it to Nike and see if a shoe like this could possibly be re-released, okay? But that's just my personal opinion. As far as the materials and the overall design of the shoe, it does say that the shoe features a black leather upper and yellow accents with the Oregon old logo stitched into the tongue and duck feet stitched into the heel. And finally, while the Pit Crew Air Jordan 3 never released to the public, how many of you would consider these to be one of Jordan Brand's best player exclusives to date also if you had the opportunity to get your hands on these shoes would it be a cop or a pass all right also make sure guys that you keep it locked to the dc show for further details and on the hottest and latest releases for nike and jordan all right also, make sure that you leave a comment down below in the comment section. Let me know how y'all feel about the information. Um, it would definitely be a cop for me if I had the opportunity to get my hands on them. Just simply because they're different. I'm not a big fan of yellow, but I'm trying to kind of, you know, open my mind up, especially when it comes to uh, certain colorways and just kind of give them a chance, okay? Um, the only thing with these shoes, is nothing wrong with the colorway, but you got to think if you wear those shoes, in the public you know you got the big oregon o on it you got the um the duck symbol on the back of the shoe a lot of people may think that you went to or the you know the oregon school or the university of oregon so to speak um and that may raise some concerns okay so i understand it was just exclusively for those students at the time i would like to see the shoe released but instead of it being with the Oregon symbols on it, just take those off and just have it plain black and yellow or just put the Jumpman logo on it and call it a day. All right. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about the shoes. Um, again, it was released in 2011. There is no price point on the shoes, um, again, because they were never released to the public. But the colorway can still be released. And if you want it, I would definitely voice my opinion to Nike themselves. All right. So you guys let me know that information. Also, make sure that you like and share this content. I would definitely appreciate that. Also, if you enjoy this content, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And finally, do not forget to tap the bell symbol so that you receive notifications first when the DC show puts up new content. All right. So I appreciate you watching and listening and tuning in. Do not forget to sound off, guys. Until the next time.
Have a good one.